What's up, motherfuckers? This is a special episode of Revenge of the Jocks. The Jocks are back in the stadium. Right now, we're Rob Rigo and Sarah Tiana. And there's a lot of awesomeness that's about to happen through these microphones. Peace. I was on Hard Knocks my rookie year, and it was disastrous. They have an idea what the, they want the story to be. Yeah. And so they're going to make the hero the hero, and the, yeah. the bad guy the bad guy, and the jerk the jerk, and, and the idiot the idiot. They're going to make Jerry Jones Jerry Jones. I've been by Jerry's house before. What was that like? So he had like half the library in his house, which I was fascinated by because I love books. Yeah. That's amazing. And he collects um, silverware. Did he hide it before all the athletes came <laughs> over? So what kind of exercise do you do now that you're out of football? Like, how do you stay well, in Well, it's been, like, going to the weight room is really, really hard, like, to just go work out for aesthetics. Like, yeah. people are so self-conscious. My whole life I worked out to compete. Sure. You know, like, squatting. Like, I found myself one time squatting. Like 400 pounds, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I squatting 400 pounds for? <laughs> yeah. I've been swimming, which sounds oh, crazy, being black. No, that's great. That's the best um, exercise you can do. Yeah, so I've been swimming a lot. Then I just started boxing. Does it get some stress out for you? I don't really stress. God bless you. How? <laughs> that's so good. My desk is currently, I'm like 15 books behind. Yeah. And I keep buying books. All his books are yellow. You know, those ones that say for dummies. Dummies. I like to read business books. Yes. I like to read self-improvement books. Yes. I like to educate myself a lot on how of those to improve. Are, fiction too. <laughs> yeah. are you a fiction guy? Definitely. Harry I, Potter. Oh, yeah, me too. I yeah, love Harry like, Potter. Have you read this, uh, the I'm name? playing Quidditch tomorrow. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I want to go. I'm excited. You should come. I will come. I usually read at least one book every two weeks. Look oh, my God. Two, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so, I want to be on that pattern. I never thought I'd be in a room with a football player and feel dumb. Like Bruce Lee said, I'm not afraid of the man who practiced a thousand kicks one time. I'm afraid of the man who practiced one kick a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoy seeing people get kicked, come to my family reunions. <laughs> <laughs> it's nonstop. It's Kansas re- City barbecue is overrated. <laughs> I usually what? don't do things that don't propel me in the direction of my dreams. Uh-huh. So I don't do those things. If I feel like it's not going to further me what my ultimate goal in life is, I don't really do it. So like, so uh, no wasted motion. The, the first step in anything, uh, and especially a, a, a good life, in my opinion, is knowing yourself. It all starts yeah. there. Oh, yeah. And it sounds like you have a very good knowledge of yourself. I spend a lot of time alone. <laughs> a lot of time people don't want to spend time alone because they're afraid of themselves. Of course. So they want to be surrounded yeah. with others. I used to travel by myself. I, I mean, I still go to movies by myself. Like, I, I need to eat by myself sometimes need some alone at a time. restaurant. Like, yeah. I just need alone time. and. I mean, I went to Istanbul by myself. How was that? It was amazing. Yeah. I went there for Thanksgiving. I had Turkey Day in Turkey. (laughs) See, I went by myself to Japan for 10 days. Oh. Uh Uh-huh. And talk about having a time to yourself. and Like, you do want to share the moments, but, like, there's some places that everyone's not interested in the same way that you are. Right. So they changed their experience. So now you try to dictate based on what the group wants to do and not what you want to do. Very true. (laughs) We've all been part of that group. We've all been part of that. It's like, goddamn, this guy, uh, he don't want to eat here, but, like, some people just not willing to explore the same way you want to explore. Wait, That's what did you think awesome. about the uh, food in Japan? Yeah, so I went um, with um, Hiro, who was like my god out there. Yeah. And she was like, do you like chicken? I was like, fuck yeah, I like chicken. In my culture, people who look like me are known to eat chicken. Like, we eat the wings, we eat the breasts, we eat the thighs, we eat everything. I'm down for chicken. Yeah, let's go get chicken. I get there, and it's like chicken beak, yes. chicken feet. Beak. I'm like, I told I said. Next. Gizzards. Gizzards. I told Hero, I said, yeah, I can't eat this shit. I pledge never to eat an otter. There. Otters are cute, though. We're doing all kinds of things right and wrong. Yes. So let's, But we're the worst creatures on Earth. Sure. We destroy everything. A lot we of take it. land. To build. Yeah, we're just destructive. It. Like, we're destructive people. Human beings are destructive. That's why we like football. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Patriots yeah. are evil. Well, you shouldn't hate the Patriots because they're really good because they're disciplined. They have structure. They have a great culture of winning. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of times it's hard to create a culture of winning. And I think, like, say, like the Cleveland Browns. Mm-hmm. They're probably one of the most talented teams on paper. On paper. Obviously, because yeah. they had a first round pick, first pick of yeah, every for draft the last for the last 10 years. years. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an easy game to go beat the Cleveland Browns, right? right. You got to really come with it because they have so much talent on the field, but they just haven't got over that hump to become winners. They haven't got in their mind that they can be winners. Because it's a culture of losing. Yeah. It's hard to live through life where you feel like you take a step forward and a step back, a step forward and a step yeah. back. But the problem is, people don't realize that the step they take the step they take back sometimes is not as big as the step they take forward Mm -hmm. so everyone keeps them at the same length but it's really not so when sometimes you get knocked down or you step backwards it's not a bad thing because you could when you take a step back you can see things differently (laughs) you hear about this fantasy football business right yes do you engage in that foolishness no i when i think fantasy i think wizards 
Magicians, uh-huh. unicorns. Right. I think I had you one year in my <laughs> fantasy league. What if we drafted other I'm human sorry beings about in life? Yeah, that, like you're a teacher. Oh, you didn't like you didn't do your your t- your lessons I, suck today. Or you didn't sell enough houses this week. I got to tell Jimbo, you, like what are you doing out there? It's, it's true for actors too. They'll come up to me and they'll be like, "You're not as fat in real life." <laughs> I'm like, "Who? <laughs> in what world that. do you get to say that to anybody? You know?" know. But they feel like because you're in the public eye, you're public property, so they can say and do whatever they want yeah, to. Like you. I hate when people say. The worst that you could come and tell a black athlete is, I owned you in fantasy oh, football. That is. You didn't own me. Yeah. I own myself. 